Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radku Tarot, it's Rad, and uh, in this whole video uh, we're going to look into Sagittarius's experience uh, throughout the upcoming week, which is a October 26th to November 1st, 2020, and uh, in case you are interested uh, in a personal reading with me, or you want to get into Tarot, and uh, you want me to, how can I say, guide you through it, uh, you can check the description down below um, and there you can find a link to my website in which you can do both things. Uh, you can schedule a personal reading or uh, you can go for some of my tarot classes um, and uh, which you are going to find under the tarot classes section in there. So that being said, moving to the spread straight away is going to be an eight cards tarot spread in two layers. So we do have the first layer here of a four cards, which is going to uh, pretty much show your rom romantic and love life throughout the upcoming week. And the second layer, which is the um, bottom layer, or should I say the downer layer, I don't know how to express it really, uh, is going to be inter uh, representing your a professional manifestation, work, job, career, etc, etc. So for the purpose of the video, I don't get distracted um, too much. I'm going to turn the layers one by one as uh, one by one. And what I mean is that I'm going to um, interpret the first layer and then I'm going to turn the second one. So we are starting pretty strong here with the love and romance. We do have the judgment first and then it is the devil card followed by, wow, the um, strength. So we do have three mages, three trumps that are coming up for your love life. And the last one is going to be the seven of a pentacles. That's quite interesting is because it does look like that throughout this week for you Sagittarius your love life is going to snap together or what I mean here is that a pieces of your puzzle that are scattered all over the place and uh, you may find yourself as well baffled uh, by the situation you know does he love me or does he or she love me or not um, you know what are her or his intentions toward me etc etc all those questions that you may have is it's pretty much are going to be revealed throughout the week and um, how can I say you're going to have a pretty good idea what you have to do in order to capitalize on the situation in the best possible way and that will be the real problem here as the devil sits you are going to have huge power i would say uh, uh, how can i say too much of a power if you will over the situation that is one way how we can interpret it and that is the milder way how the situation develops i hate saying it but there is also a very morbid way how those cards could unfold and they could fall they could they could i'm sorry unfold in a way as a cue as that is your cue something terrible happens and that is your cue to run away to 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 walk yourself out you know to make your leave if we may say it that way i really hope that you guys who are watching that video are not from the la latter but in case you are should you see that uh, red flag it's not going to be a red flag guys it's going to be a, a, a red wall if i may say it that way the, the 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 sky is going to become red you are going to know that it's it got way far further than it should have and you're pretty much catching up your last line to to pretty much leave that thing that is the most morbid interpretation so let's get back to the uh to the more positive one so like i said you pretty much are gonna have your insight and uh how can i say your reveal or your revelation throughout the week itself and uh, from there the only question stands how to like I said capitalize on all that it is happening and good thing that we do have the strength here into the third position of the spread, pointing that you are always going to have the correct measurements. 
of aggression, the correct measurements of compassion, the correct measurements of, of inspiration, if you will, sorrow, uh, uh, sorrow as well. Um, how can I say, uh, um, what was the word that I was searching for? Mm, commiseration and so on and so forth. So in other words, you are going to have the knack of how to react in every single situation with your partner, with your beloved one, with your person of interest as well. So you can make the, 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 the strongest impression over your uh, intentions. And that will speak, it's, it's not just only going to speak, but also is going to shriek louder, far, far louder than words. And you are going to make your point. So are the things going to happen or not? Well, that's clouded in mystery for you because we do have the seven of pentacles here at the end of, uh, of this particular layer of the reading. But it's far better to know where you are going and to know how the things want to develop for yourself than something out happening without knowing how is going to unfold and you pretty much are going to know what you want for your say self throughout this week and if things are not happening into your love life that awareness that happens uh, that uh, of yourself i'm sorry is going to make it clear that it is better not happening out it is better not developing out if you know what i mean so just to wrap the, the whole thing around, um, the things that your experiences throughout the week, Sagittarius, in terms of love, are going to exactly, are going to be exactly the experiences you need and they are going to set you on the right path in terms of love and in terms of romance. Because the Seven of Pentacles at the end points only that from that day moving forward, you are never going to over-invest or under-invest into your similar type of relationships. You are going to give or take exactly as much as you give or take. So moving next, we have the um, uh, professional manifestation here and the first card of it is going to be the um, knight, uh, the, the page, I'm sorry, of a sword followed by the two of swords as well uh, and then we do have the knight of swords and the last one is going to be the hermit so we do have some kind of a clash that it, that it is going on here it's like a taunting that you are to experience somebody is going to taunt you out and the worst thing you can do is ignore it uh, it's just you have to react on this taunt on this challenge because it's, it looks like a, a a challenging thing luckily for you though you do have a very faithful companion here which uh, represents itself as the knight of swords now that person is gonna take your he or she because it could be a woman as well is gonna take your side okay but they're not going to involve themselves physically it's more like kind of like uh, maintaining you know your enthusiasm maintaining if you will your aggression for if you are to answer an aggressor you have to be aggressive otherwise you are to be smothered or a battered or, or, or you name it because we do have these two here the more you back off the worse the things become for um page of swords they smell weakness they are they they feed themselves on uh, on a weakness for they are um how can i say that much uh, lights up and makes a fire and by you backing off uh, think of yourself like a firefighter the way uh, as you back off that fire spreads meaning the conflict spreads meaning the wrangles spreads to a point where it's going to become pretty much um, how can I say, not ir irrelevant, but pretty much unbearable. So you definitely have to answer um, the challenge. How does the Page of Swords operate? Well, they are pretty good in making you, not just only you, but what they are going to try to do is make the uh, audience, everybody that is not involved directly into the conflict, believe in fallacies, okay? believe in fictions. Things that are simply not true. 
are they liars? I mean, the Page of Swords, not exactly. It is just they withhold situation and leaves to others' imagination to fill the gaps, which is pretty much a fallacy, okay? So this is how they do operate. And you have to challenge those fallacy. If you do it successfully, what happens, uh, well, regardless if you do it successfully or not, what happens at the end here, it is uh, with uh, the Hermit card, is that you do find kind of like a place or a path, something like it, that will be, um, how can I say, more productive than before. So in either way, that challenge that uh, that's, um, Un unfortunate, if you will, situation with the person that you are working with is going to end with the hermit at the end. But are you going to be at the upper hand or you are going to be the one defeated? Well, that remains to be seen based on are you going to take up on the challenge or are you going to back off and just walk away like a snake into the bushes? Okay, so it's highly advisable for you to take once again on the challenge and stand your ground simply especially if you are accused of something and you don't and you haven't done it you have to stand your ground you have to stand for yourself for your rights and for your career development moving forward so that being said Sagittarius this was your weekly general tarot reading guys for the upcoming week uh, October 26th to uh, November 1st, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.